hello there guys uh, yesterday we did the table now we're going to do this you watch here this 1.6 diesel engines hdi they have the tendency of leaking oil on the camshaft case so what citron has done here or whoever makes this engines is they've put a cover here at the top of the engine it's not a tappet cover. I, I don't know what it is, but there are no tappets here. Tappets are a bit at the bottom there. And then they made the first section that can be removed, the second section that can be removed, and then the cylinder head. Okay. Now the oil normally leaks on the cam case. I'll just switch on there. If you look down there, you can see oil. You'll see it properly when I, after I remove all this stuff. Hopefully now, here, if this in focus. Yeah, there you can see oil. So what some people normally do is they'll just tighten the, you know, the the bolts that holds that uh, cam, camshaft case, you know, so but the reason it's coming out is because the gasket is finished so i'm gonna just remove all the stuff and put a new gasket okay i'm going to remove most of the things as one piece this and that with that i'm going to remove as at as one piece i'm not going to remove this pipe this pipe this pipe this. i'm just removing these bolts here removing that clump there this and then the clumps at the bottom there then the whole thing just comes out saves time all right that uh, pipe work here is out now you can see there is a mess you know I don't know if this one comes when we put oil here or whatever it looks a bit dry here but on this side it's, it's very very wet so uh, okay there's this bracket here to remove the this part of the camshaft you have to remove these but there's just one bolt here it's underneath this bracket now this is a nightmare for mechanics they hate this part now my plan is i'm going to because i'm going to remove the alternator anyway uh, i'm going to remove the alternator anyway so I'm not going I'm going to remove this bracket if I wasn't going to remove the alternator I would just cut here okay I'll just cut it this is my car I'll just cut it here make a hole and that pipe work just put the cable tie and clamp it on this and leave it I wouldn't remove the air compressor the alternator with all the spaghetti of cables just for one bolt not a chance not with me maybe with somebody else i wouldn't do that okay but if you're a mechanic and you're doing somebody's car you have to that's the pain you're getting paid for all right so yeah uh, next to remove is this cover as you can see i've already loosened the bolts uh, all this needs to be removed uh, this one as well needs to be removed to get off the way and then i will remove the wheel on the side and all the spaghetti of cables will have to come out because i'm going to take out the alternator all right right the cover is off now uh, and now I'm taking off all these cables. And like I said before, when I never take off the bolts or nuts, I put them back to where they were because it makes life easier later on when you put everything back. Sometimes I will do the job when I finish, I'm left with two bolts. And I look everywhere. I don't see where they're coming from. Okay, so I just put them back uh, exactly where they come. They came out. Yeah, there are some which, you know, I cannot put them back uh, but at least it will be few of them all right so i'm gonna just carry on taking off all the stuff 
Right, I've removed all the the cables and the bracket. This is the bracket that holds everything. I would say just take pictures of how this, you know, this cables with, you know, with clip, clipped on this bracket. One thing that I would like to remind you is when you start this, disconnect the battery. I, I forgot to disconnect the battery. And this cable that comes from the battery into the alternator for charge, it touched here and I had a shot as you can see there. So watch out, disconnect the battery before starting. At the start of this video, I'll write with the red letters disconnect the battery okay also when you take out the belt here make sure your finger doesn't get in between the belt and the pulley because this is spring loaded if the tool that you're using to pull the tensioner down here slips your finger will be between that and the belt and the pain is excruciating okay so that's where we are. i'm going to remove the tensioner now and then remove this. I've already said I'll remove this. So the next thing now is to take off the pulley, this, and then take off the cover. There's a cover there for the timing belt. Once this come out, you will see the timing belt on the other side, okay? There are a couple of screws. I will show you where they are as I go along, all right? so the pulley if you have an impact wrench it's much easier with this because it goes like and then it you know it, it comes out but because i don't have as i was trying to turn this the pulley was turning as well the engine so i tied it with this to here and now here it is coming out all right so if you have the same problem just put something to tie it maybe here so that it doesn't move or here then you can remove it okay all right now we're taking off this two for this and this so two four five six seven eight nine there's another one at the bottom so all this is coming out because we need to take off the cover for the for the can belt all right right as you can see the mounting is off so we have a uh, access now to this uh, timing belt cover okay this timing belt the, the way it looks doesn't look bad at all to be honest with you 157,000 miles still looks good yeah but i just don't want to risk it i wanted to do 200 miles but I think now nah, Oscar, come on, be reasonable. Okay, so let me just remove this cover. There are a couple of screws. I'll show you where the screws are after I remove the cover. Right, here we are. This is the bottom cover. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five screws. This is where the cable clips. Another clip here. And other two here and then at the top there this is where cables clips this kind of stuff you see this yeah they clip in there so only five screws and the cover is out i'm going to clean this before putting it back in what you see here is hundred and fifty seven thousand miles this is the first time it's been removed and now as you can see here this is the timing belt uh, this is how it is. Doesn't look that bad to be honest. This is the tensioner here. This is the idler. This is the the diesel. No, no, the injector pulley. See it? Okay. And that's the water pump because we're going to change the water pump as well. So. I have to remove this but before we remove this we have to put it in timing as you can see here there is a hole here this hole needs to line up with this hole and on the crankshaft as well all right so let's do that 
just took out the idler there we go and I've cleaned uh, where the water pump is going to go in there so I'm going to get the gasket put it in and put a bit of silicone around the gasket and then put it in then put it back in there then wash all this with soap and spray you will see when I finish it it will be very very clean all this mess